before we get started into this video, definitely go hit that subscribe button down below and click that notification button so you know when I post a video each time. Also give this video a thumbs up. And before we get started, I need to say that this is a collab video. So I'm collabing with Mitch Crafts on YouTube and she is also having an Easter themed tutorial on her channel. So definitely go check her video out. We'll be leaving a link in the description box down below. And without further ado, let's get started. So the very first thing you want to do is cut your foam into an oval shape for the head. For the second piece of foam, you want to cut it into a cone-like shape and at the tip, you want to have it at a little bend. Before we go to the next step, make sure to smooth everything. Now for the body piece, I'm going to make a little U shape, I guess you could say, and this will help it fit with the head. It will make a perfect fit. You're going to use a small piece of foam to make the ears. Now you want to round the edges. Of course you're going to need two. Now using another piece of foam we're going to make the arms. For this part I also want to make a small slant at the other end so that it could fit perfectly with the body. Now you want to get another piece of foam and cut that into a cone-like shape. I'm going to use a marker so that I can make some good lines to make it look as if it's like whipped cream and I'm going to cut out the lines <laughs> to make this connected to the head perfectly I'm also going to make a U shape like I did to the body Using white paint and brown paint, I'm going to mix those two together to make a light brown. I'm going to paint the head, its arms, ears, for the body I'm going to paint half so the other half is painted gold. I didn't show this part but paint the bottom piece gold. Using orange paint, I'm going to paint the whipped cream. Using a piece of foam, I'm going to cut it into a heart shape for the little tail. I didn't show this part either, but I'm going to paint it gold. For everything, I painted them all with layers. Once everything is glued together, I started painting a caramel-like color a drizzle on top of its forehead. I painted its ears and belly. I'm going to use some black paint for the eyes. I'm going to use some pink paint for the cheeks. I'm 
going to use some brown paint and make some crisscross lines on the ears. Don't forget its belly. Using some black paint again, I'm going to use it to paint the nose and the mouth. Using some green paint, I'm going to paint over the drizzle to make it look like leaves for the whipped cream. For the packaging, I already painted the water and the seaweed. Now I'm going to draw a jellyfish and I drew some drizzle at the top of its forehead. crab a starfish with some drizzle on the top make sure to draw crisscross cross lines to make it look as if it's a cone I'm drawing the second line for the water some bubbles for the writing I'm not gonna really explain it you can always look online for a picture of the packaging or just watch Easter to make it a little bit more unique. For painting, I'm painting the crab with orange. Of course, I'm going to paint the seaweed green. The sand light yellow. I'm going to paint the starfish's chocolate drizzle with brown. I'm going to paint the jellyfish's drizzle orange. For the top layer of the water, I'm going to paint it light blue. to paint the bottom layer dark blue for the writing I'm going to paint over the letters with white I'm going to paint the bubbles with some clear glue and mix that with white paint so that 
the bubbles have a faded look. And I'm going to outline the seaweed with black. I'm going to outline the jellyfish with black. I basically outlined everything with black. To finish the packaging, I'm going to tape the back and the front. And I ripped mine, so don't do what I did. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.